Hey, how's it going, guys? And welcome to a Thanksgiving Mythbusters special. Joined today, we have Mod Matt K. Hello. Mod Ronan. Hello. Mod Reach. Yep. And myself. So these are some myths that we've had, um, been gathering for the last uh, few weeks or so. Some of the timeless classic myths you guys have been wondering for years now. Um, so uh, I guess let's hop into it. All right. First one. The very first ever Christmas crackers in the game were originally dropped by the White Knights in Falador on Christmas morning. I think what we're doing actually first is getting you guys to vote um, whether you think it's true or not. So there should be a uh, link appearing shortly in the chat. So vote and let us know what you think and then uh, we'll tell you the answer after that. I suppose I could have mentioned that. This yeah, is going to be interactive. Yes. Um, actually, Very you know what, while we're explaining this question, while we're waiting for this, uh, this question to pop up, um, this was originally just going to be a YouTube video, but we decided it'd be a, a much cooler thing to live stream. You guys can be interactive and enjoy it and get a, a kind of a behind the scenes peek before we put it up on YouTube. So there you go. All right. I've got to wait for the results to come in. And there is a slight delay with Twitch, so. See, well, what we're missing, really, is Ian, because he would have been around at this time, in 2001, uh, yeah, wouldn't actually, he? Yeah, actually, when this question was proposed, I didn't know the answer myself fully, because yep. I wasn't around that time myself either. And uh, I think Ian was the only one that would have had anything to do with that. This yeah. one took a lot of Googling. Like, <laughs> I, I don't know like the answer. Like a solid hour of Googling. Rowan is going in. Like that. I don't going know the answer blind. to any of these. I'm going to say false. You're going to say false. You're going to say false. I'm so going to say false. To repeat the question, as you guys, you're, you're answering there. Ooh, look at this. this the very first ever Christmas crackers in the game were originally dropped by the White Knights in Falador on Christmas morning. This is a very close one. You guys really have no idea. We've got 52, is it 53% false and 47% true? Looks like a slight majority, yeah, thinks it's false. Not enough to pass a poll, though. So, so Ro Ronan's, Ronan gets <laughs> false as well. Ronan, who doesn't know the answer? Ronan says false. Yeah. So, uh, all right, Ronan, what were they then dropped by, these Christmas crackers? I don't if know. That's one of the points. <laughs> well, uh, I think the answer is that uh, they were, it is false. I think um, it was done to an event. It was, I've got a cheat sheet. It doesn't tell me why they were dropped. It just says no. here that it was a Christmas event in 2001. I think it was Andrew and Paul logged in on Christmas morning. Yeah. And probably a couple of other mods as well. But they literally walked in, um, came in Christmas morning, and just dropped them in game. So if you were lucky enough to follow them and find them, they would, um, yeah, would have dropped some for you. Yeah. That's where they first came from. All right, thank you, my data. All right, next myth. <laughs> <laughs> when yeah. accessing the abyss, <coughs> the grade of pickaxe and hatchet does not make a difference. So if you're doing some rune crafting, you know, the abyss up, up what is it, like level two wilderness, um, where you're going to make some nature runes, um, the level or the grade of your pickaxe or hatchet does not make a difference. Ronan? I know the answer to this one, so I can't chime in. Okay. Don't you? I know the answer to it as well, because I knew the answer when I was actually, you know, back in 2005 when uh, we're doing yeah. this. So uh, um, I, I, I'm not going to answer it. In fact, did I know the answer? Do you actually know the answer? I do know the answer. It's written in front of me. Um, <laughs> but... Uh, I'll tell you, it's a, it's a good myth, though. It is, it is a good myth. I'm trying to think if I, if I actually knew the answer, because I know I always took the lowest one in case I got PK'd, but was that because... I knew whether it would make a difference or not, or whether it's because I had I, I just didn't want to die with a rune axe on me, which probably, probably more just the so noob. Yeah. It's a case yeah. of, am I a cheapskate, or am I efficient? You see, I wasn't a noob <laughs> back in 2005. I am now. Well, back in 2005, I wasn't. I was in the top 10,000 at one point, which oh, yeah? is quite nice. Quite an interesting They're result. saying true. So the question again was, when accessing well the Abyss, the grid of pickaxe slash hatchet does not make a difference. That is true. Yes. Well done. Nice one. To the... <laughs> Is that 69, 70%. The majority of the 30% though, good try, maybe next time. Yeah. All right. Next myth. This one says, uh, your range level does not change how much damage per second your cannon deals. Hmm? Is that not a good one? That's a good one. Oh, that's a good one, yeah. yeah. That's a good one. Again, I know the answer to it though. <laughs> so if I'm level one oh, range, road is less than revision. my yeah. cannon, <laughs> will it do more damage or less damage than someone with level 99 range? Can you have a cannon at level one range? I can't remember what the requirements of the quest are, to be honest. That's, that's, uh, that's a myth for the next time. <laughs> yeah, I think it is, yeah. yeah. I think it's easy to find out, so it's not much of a myth, really, is it? Uh, I can't remember what the requirements of the quest are at all, because that's the only thing really holding you back. I never owned a ca cannon, either. You've never owned I did, a cannon? I did the quest. Really? Yeah, but I just never went out and bought them, because I just couldn't be oh, bothered getting all the cannon. I think I bought it from the, the dwarf from the quest. Yeah, no, I did the quest, and I was like, 900k for cannon. 800 chaos over a cannon. Yeah. So I was like, nah, not interested in that. We have results on the screen. Let's see. What's it say? Your range level does not change how much damage per second your cannon does. What's and the percentage looking like? What? 59% true. Another very split down the middle one. Yeah. 
Absolutely. Slight majority think it's true. Um, it is, in fact, true. Your range level does not change your damage per second. However, your damage per second only varies depending on your highest accuracy bonus as well as your enemy's ranged defense. So okay. wearing D hide is going to make your cannon hit higher than if you were wearing a uh, full rune, essentially. There we go. Highest accuracy bonus is that? So yeah. any accuracy bonus, not just range. I think it's ranged. Actually. <laughs> yeah, well, one would hope it's ranged. Look at the coming in. <laughs> Why would? Yeah. One would hope it's ranged. Yeah. Anyway, it would make sense for it to be ranged. Why would your defense bonus have anything to do with no, that? I'm thinking like hits? slash attack. If your slash attack was your highest, would it take yeah. it from that? I, w I wouldn't think so because that's melee versus range. I would think it's range. It'll go from yeah. range. Yeah. 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 So there you go. All right. Next question. Awkward question. Myth. Sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> this is a good one. It's not possible to receive a visage. As a drop, <laughs> unless you've oh. talked to Oziak this in Edgeville. It's a Edgeville. classic one, isn't it? I remember seeing <coughs> this one years and years ago while doing Steel Dragons and uh, seeing people complain they weren't getting drops. And then seeing the guy next to him saying, no, no, you must talk to that NPC. It's worked that was for me. me. I've, had, I've had four visages. It that was, was literally me. Yeah. I remember seeing it and then sitting at home thinking, oh, just I remember at one point idiot. back <laughs> when we were at, um, at the other office. And uh, the player support used to be right next to uh, the development team. I had to go through those big doors, which you, none of you have probably ever seen. So I mean, anything to you. But through the big doors into the development area and uh, tap on uh, uh, Shihiro, his, uh, his shoulder, and say, Excuse me, what's the answer to this? Everyone keeps asking. And he didn't know either. So. Before, we, uh, before we read the results for this, I think Paul is my strength zero, just completely owned us. Um, instead, that it isn't just the range bonus. Actually, Ronan, you might have been right. It's, it's any bonus, apparently. There we go. And I'm going to believe him over me. I'm so. going to check that myself. Yeah. Yes. I'm going to believe, believe him over Google, I should say that. <laughs> okay, I think we've got answers here, haven't we? And it looks uh, quite one-sided. Uh, yes, right. there's a lot. There's some people saying true. I'm not sure if they're just trolling or if they genuinely believe that you have to talk to Oziach in order to get That's not trolling. That's legit. That's legit. So, are, you, are you sure? That yeah, let's is... read the question again. <clears throat> it's not possible to receive a visage, visage, however you want to say it, as no, a drop. Yeah. Unless you've talked to Oziak prior. And a lot of you guys think that's false, it which in, in fact, fact <laughs> is false. Yes. All right. Yeah, Fair no, point. At no point do you ever have to talk to any NPC to get that drop. You can yeah. just get that drop from day one if you were so lucky enough to kill a dragon that yeah. dropped it. Yep. Yeah. All right. Next question. <clears throat> when farming, your crops will grow faster if you're logged in. Any master this farmers is a, this here? Is, this is a complicated answer. Uh, this one, that isn't one's it? The, the only reason the answer to well, that Well, don't answer is, yet. No, don't not, give anything away. I wasn't going to give the answer okay. to that one. The only reason that one is the way it is is <coughs> due to the nature of farming, really. I mean, otherwise it would be the other way around. Yeah. So, if I were to plant a crop, let's say I'm growing some runners, and I, I log out, will they take longer than if I were to stay logged in? Is really the question here. And, uh,. I it's just, a, it's I, a tough one. I just, I, just wanna, I just almost feel like saying it because by now they voted. Okay, you know how they voted? go for it. Uh, it's actually true. It's actually true, and they're mostly voting false. There so it's go. technically true. I'm going to try to reinstate what uh, Ash told me. Or do you want to go for it? Um, Ash couldn't do. I mean, I don't know what description Ash has given you. So. He said there's basically something like it sounded like a five minute timer, yeah. and if you were to log out before that timer were, were to be completed, you'd kind of interrupt the cycle and interrupt the growth cycle and pattern mm. and complicated words. It's, in, it's important to know, it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't do cycle. It, it doesn't do it every time. So this is only true in some respects. Right. Uh, there is a chance you can reset the cycle on log out. Um, so there's so a chance. By, lo by logging out, you can increase the time it takes crops, uh, crops to grow. Otherwise, if you stay logged in, obviously you don't end up running into that. Right. Uh, sometimes you can log out and nothing really goes wrong, so you know you end up not having all the people saying false are in some respects also correct. Yeah. But there is it is possible to screw up your farming timer if you log out. Yes. To be completely um, technical here, if we needed a yes or a no, it would be a yes. Yes. Or sorry, true. It would be true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Ash also said that you could potentially stop your crops growing at all by logging out and if logging you could, it at the right time. Yeah, yeah. If you could perfectly time your log out, so your crops will not grow. <laughs> Don't try that. Or try it if you really want to. You know? <laughs> okay. Next myth. The higher your magic level, the higher your magic defense is. So if I was really high mage, the less likelihood that someone's going to hit me. So, sorry, the more likely someone's going to splash on me. Does that make sense? 
Yep. Yeah. No, what did you think, Ronnie? I had to find this answer out as well at one point many years ago. I'm trying to think why I needed to. I, I know this one because I used to do mage boxing. Okay. <laughs> Stakers. 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 Yes. Yeah. We've got a lot of stakers in the chat, they might know as well. Oh, yeah. Pignus just so, subscribed. Uh, same guy who got Fire Cape at Runefest. And yeah. same guy who got Fire Cape and didn't get Fire Cape. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the only one. Let's uh, repeat the question real quick here. So the higher your magic level, the higher your magic defense is. The majority of you guys are saying that's true. Yep. Can't say the exact percentage. Like 70 something. 74%. 74%. It's going to a poll pass this one. If it's not true, then we better change the uh, game. Better pass the poll. Look at this. There you go, 75. <laughs> is it 75 or is it 74.9? It is 75. Look at yeah. that. 74.9. That's, that's yeah. a very good question. And uh, yeah, guys, you guys are right. It's true. It is. It is true. Yeah. I mean, basically, so. I think it's. Uh, I don't think at all. It says on the bit of paper down here. Seventy uh, percent is magic G -G. level, and thirty percent is your defense level. Yep. There we go. Seventy percent relies on your magic level. So if somebody's not splashing on you and is absolutely demolishing you with mage, go raise your mage level, and that won't happen as much. Mm -hmm. All right. Next myth: Using a magic prayer like Mystic Might provides more magic defense bonus and improves the like likelihood your opponent will splash on you. Very similar, but this time using prayers. Do. Chickens have the mystic might. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they might do now. <laughs> Definitely. They might do now. You know strange chickens might. Yeah. I don't know it's this unusual one. Unusual chicken. You don't know this one? I'd say false. I'd false. Say false. That's interesting. Why yeah. would you say false or are you just 50-50? I would... See, because I would... Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I'm I, I, you, I, I don't know. you a decision. I don't know. See, it, it would be something you would do in like spur of the moment, like panicking, you're running away, there's a major after you, he's going to freeze you, you put on Mystic Might just in case it helps. I would sooner do Piety. You do Piety instead? Yeah. Is that a mistake? That's going to give you a defense bonus for sure. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. But you will that increase the likelihood of him splashing? We have uh, some results up. Yeah. And uh, looks like... Uh, looks, 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 like. <laughs> looks like the majority of you guys think that's false. <coughs> very just, slight majority. Just the majority. This is a tough one. It, there's 20 votes in it. Do you want to bust this myth, Matt? I can do. Uh, yeah. When do you say uh, his cheat sheet? <laughs> sorry, mate. It's true. It is true. It is true. So <laughs> if you don't want to get splashed on, use the Mystic Might Prayer. If you do want to get splashed on. If you do want to get splashed on. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Ask the question's true, whatever the question may have now been. Now I'm just confusing them on purpose. <laughs> All right. Uh, next myth. There are certain things you can do prior to a stake, example being saying good luck or uh, dancing, doing an emote, that will give you more luck. Uh, again, much like in, in, with visages when I've strolled through the jewelry arena, I've seen many, many people uh, dressed up in the same outfit, same hair colour, same skin tone in some respects, all convinced that this will help them yeah. uh, win their stake because this is the secret to uh, ultimate money making. And uh, again, I, I leave the arena almost thinking, what an idiot. <laughs> well, well, I've not given it away. Don't then. spoil it now. <laughs> uh, so hopefully you, you haven't, or you've already voted. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Watching so many staking streamers, sometimes it's so fun, but sometimes you watch them, they're doing the jig every single stake because they're convinced it's going to give them an advantage. Yeah. What do you think, yeah. Ronan? As a previous mage what, staker. What do I think? Yeah. Don't, don't I don't know. This is a tough one. <laughs> I really hope when that's not false. expanded, I see. So through, I suppose, I suppose, I suppose right. the question for this is, uh, you know, what happens if both of them do a jig beforehand? Where does the luck go then? It would be really cool if we it, could say that was true. It's like the uh, unstoppable force and the immovable object. It's yeah. just, it's just a no, total annihilation. Yeah. It stops, doesn't it? Could you imagine we said this was true, and then literally every single person staking oh, from now on would be dancing? Yeah, let's just say it's true for the sake of it. They might all have green hair. April Fools, let's go. Yeah. So uh, unfortunately, 112 of you guys thought that was real. That um, is unfortunate. It, it's pretty unbelievable um, how much nonsense stakers believe. If you say when they're in a stake, if you just say you're definitely going to win and then they lose, they will blame you completely in rage. It's I, 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 it probably was your fault. I think I'd actually just throw another myth in there quickly. Uh, I get a lot of people sometimes say, PM me quickly, PM me, PM me, because the general PM obviously helps me get a drop. <laughs> and uh, what's annoying about that is occasionally when I've said lol and good luck, they've actually got a drop. Um, <laughs> us fearing you doesn't really have anything to do with the drop chances. So uh, Jane would say, "Lol, good luck." Uh, whether it be a jewel or 
This Stanley is the chance sort of a, drop, a party hat drop in, of course. Yeah. Uh, yes. With Christmas coming out. So um, yeah, I mean, unless, unless we're the ones <laughs> that are in control of the drops, which we're not uh, in a lot of cases. Uh, us PMing you saying good luck, much in the same way as you saying good luck before a stake as well, doesn't have any effect on you winning or getting a better drop. But there is yeah. the luck variable, though, isn't there? There is, there the, is, there the, is the, luck, luck variable. the luck variable that every account has, and we can set that to one. Or is that a myth? Don't know. That's what I was just going to say. You know what? Yeah, why so not? It's not a question. It's really a luck variable. But uh, yeah, you know, I mean, everybody's heard of, oh, this account is so much luckier. This guy got how many sigils at Corp? Well, yeah. this guy got none in so many kills. Like, Maybe we ought to answer that one at the end, how luck is actually worked out sure. in oh, the game okay. engine. Just ask some of the old, uh, the old Corp players, whether or not they were PM'd when they got two divines in a row. Yes. <laughs> the mark right. Yes. I think we'll right. explain the luck, the luck yeah, thing right at the, the very end, I think, just to keep them going. The next myth here. Um, wearing a ring of... Yeah, this is the next one, sorry. Wearing a ring of wealth will better increase your chance of receiving better drops from monsters. An example being Corporal Beast. Yeah. If I wore a ring of wealth at Corp, would I have a higher chance of getting a sigil? Uh, lol. <laughs> I remember the first time we sort of made how it worked. Because at the time when uh, um, we were talking about this, uh, we were very sort of uh, closed about the, how the mechanics worked. And again, I had to go across to, it's probably Chihiro again, because he was probably really helpful at the time, and sort of he explained how the Ring of Wealth works, and we put out the first Knowledge Base article, and nobody understood it. I don't think anybody really understands how it works anyway. Yeah. Um, but the effect is, uh, is, is quite obvious, uh, which we'll explain to them once we've had, had, had the poll results through. Well, don't explain it too in depth, because actually our next myth after this is another Ring of Wealth myth. Uh -oh. So we'll save it for after that. But, so just um, a true or false answer. Yeah, See, this, this question, is true or false. I mean, Paul, Paul's got it correct in the chat, actually. This question depends on whether or not we're referring to the fabled uh, Ring of Wealth glitch at Corp, which increased your chance <laughs> to get the Sigil 100%. Right. <laughs> Let's not mention um, that. Which in, in which case, this, uh, the results of this poll is actually the way around. But, uh, <laughs> so, yeah, a considerable amount thought it was true. 33%, 30% now. They're changing their minds now quickly. <laughs> um, yeah, unfortunately, wearing a Ring of Wealth will not increase your, your chance of getting a really awesome big drop. Um, however, that brings me to my next myth, um, and that is wearing a ring of wealth upon completing a clue scroll will give you better loot. True or false? A yeah, more complicated. I'm saying false. You're saying, saying false. false? I'm saying false. Is that just because we've it's tainted the vision of uh, ring of wealth for you? It's because I've, I've heard you call it utterly useless so many times. <laughs> <laughs> um, so to add to that I'm question surprised. before you answer it, would you have to wear the Ring of Wealth for the entire duration of completing the clue? Or just when you're getting the, the ending casket? Just, when you're just the ending casket. Okay. And will that do anything? Because again, that's a, probably another myth. It's, if this appears in here, I'm sorry, but um, um, there's another myth that it decides what's in the casket while you're actually doing the clues, where it doesn't, does it? It's when you open it, yeah. that's when it generates what's in the casket. Yeah. When you open like, as I said, when you wearing a Ring of Wealth, there is no tracking for wearing a Ring of Wealth all the way through a clue scroll. It will only work if it does at the very end. Uh, and at, when you open the clue scroll casket, it's only when you click the casket is the script deciding what it should give you. Uh, it's not predetermined. So when you pick up a clue scroll and think, oh my god, that could be a third age clue scroll, that's oh, entirely not true. That's a lovely result. Oh, wow, that is just <laughs> terrible. There, there might be a bit surprised when yeah. you... Uh, I think this might be the best myth, actually. Yeah, it seems to be. Fair play. Okay, so 82%, unfortunately, were wrong. Um, really? Yeah. Wearing a cool. ring of wealth, when completing a clue scroll, will it give you a better chance of landing on a rare drop table. Mm. There you go. Yep. How's that? Uh, there you go, guys. By better chance, that chance is very minuscule. Yeah. It but is a the chance, point, though. The, the point stands, you do have a better chance. Why do you always call it useless, then? <laughs> because it is practically useless. The, <laughs> the, 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 minuscule chance, chance. the minuscule chance does exist. Um, you do have a slightly better chance. Um, we're talking point percentages here. But uh, you do have a better chance. Oh, look at the it, chat just it, Yeah, they can't it, believe it, can they? Mind it blown. Matters to <laughs> people, crazy. It matters to people like Ging Bino and uh, I am Kiefer's who do thousands of the things. Uh, that might also <laughs> help. I mean, we actually have an RS3 developer in the room right now. Maz, does that, is that the same for RS3 as well? You don't know? Because obviously RS3 has a few uh, clue hunters like uh, Misha who's done thousands of the things and uh, absolutely nuts. Oh, yeah. more bright line. So um, the uh, the ring of wealth is now going to be skyrocketing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, let's get to the next myth. This could yeah. actually work, work so for RSV players as well. Before we answered this, we all went and bought about a thousand ring of wealth. Um, <laughs> <laughs> is that a myth or is that not? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, so this is a good one. If you've ever done pest control, you will know this one. 
Um, spinners in pest control are attracted by protection prayers. Ooh, wow, well, I don't know the answer to that one. I haven't even looked at So, the I remember my good old days of doing pest control. Not that I was a PC product or anything. Um, but uh, standing by the portal, you're trying to kill the portal, and these spinners are spawning, which heal the portal, yeah. I believe. Praying will attract them and, and introduce more of them into, into the... You see, I always event. assumed that attacking the portal attracted them rather than praying, which is what I assumed the portal, they were there for. Everybody said, stop praying, noob, you're attracting the, the, the spinners. Yeah. And I was like, oh no, sorry. That's got to be false. There's got to no be way. false. I think I'm so. smiling. Yeah, I know you are. <laughs> it's putting me off. I think you're safe to answer it if you want to. I think you're um, bluffing. Oh, they've already voted. Uh, yes, this is false. Spinners are not attracted to your protection <laughs> friends. 61% false. Yeah, fair yeah, amount. That was true. The majority, thought, uh, the majority were correct in this mm. instance. When we first started, when we were talking about this just before we came on air, actually, about the whole um, Mythbusters thing, it was a Chris Turner. I said, are they going to get most of these? I don't think we'll maybe one or two they might not yeah. get, but we'll be pleasantly surprised. I'm quite pleased. Yeah. I will be interested in, most interested in seeing what happens to the real wealth tomorrow. Yeah. I expect too. to go on to <coughs> any third party <coughs> trading sites and seeing Ring of Wealth <laughs> spike all of a sudden. <laughs> or seeing someone like Kiefer's get really angry that he's been uh, <laughs> caught, yeah. uh, caught out a lot. Yeah. All right, Absolutely. so this next one is arguably going to be the biggest myth, mm. I believe. Um, the answer might not be so, so surprising, but uh, all right, let's do this. Certain kills, sorry, certain kill counts in Barrows offer better rewards from the chest. There you have it. Is that. Better item rewards, like Barrow's items or... Just better better loot in general, better items, better every, oh. anything. Assuming yeah. they don't take that as a rather ambiguous question, it should rather be... Um, no, we've told, I mean, I know we've told, them. To them I know we've told them before. Yeah, we've, we've told them over a few times. times. I mean, but still, even, it's definitely a big myth, yeah, even, you know, yeah. arguably. Big RSV developers such as Chris Long have uh, stood out and said, you know, what they think, or what they've... I mean, I know Dean said it on live stream a few times as well, so... Everyone seems to say a different number. It's quite worrying that no one seems to be 100%. Yeah, the numbers do vary, unfortunately. It depends on what each individual considers to be the most rewarding amount. Uh, however, when you get to a certain limit, and I believe that limit is actually 14. Yeah. So that, this is um, a... Sorry, go ahead. Uh, when, I think when, when, once you get to 14, everything beyond that doesn't really increment anymore. Right. So 14 is where it effectively caps itself off. Yeah. So if you were deciding that... Um, you wanted to get a significant amount of runes and you didn't mind the time investment, 14 is the optimum number. Anything below that, as long as you've killed all the Barrows Brothers, is almost identical. Right. It doesn't really make a difference. I've heard 7, I've heard 4, I've heard 14, I've heard 400. Like, Cap out of 14 yeah. if, uh, if, you, if you want the optimum number of bolt racks and runes. So a vast majority thought that was true. Unfortunately, it is false, as we've just said. Mm -hmm. um, they might have been thinking a, a lower number than 14, however. But yeah, people who spend their time at Barrows, getting a hundred plus kill count, you are literally doing nothing but training. Yes. I mean, Unfortunately. the thing with Barrows is, in order to get a, let's just say, Kirill's piece, you have to kill the uh, Kirill's brother. Um, in order to get the Guthans piece, you then have to go and kill the Guthans brother. You only get pieces for the, uh, for the brothers you have killed, so you have to get a minimum of six, five, six, seven kill count in order to get those pieces. Anything beyond that, up to 14, is inclusive of runes and bolt racks. Um, the amount of rooms you get, I mean, some people say 11, which is quite nice because that gives you a decent number. You can get 11 pretty quickly, you can get out and back in again. So the uh, time versus GP that you've made is rather, well, I guess, is the most efficient, I guess. So uh, that's where I would go. And, and just to yeah. confirm, because a lot of people care a lot about these kinds of things, if you don't kill all of the brothers, um, does, it incre uh, does it decrease your chance of getting a Barrows item? Uh, it decreases your chance of getting a Barrow's item because that's one less Barrow's brother and four less pieces you can get. Right. But it doesn't increase your chances of getting other pieces. So, so for example, if it was to drop, you know, a Barrow's, um, it, it had a list of 20 things it could drop. If you kill the six Barrow's items, six of those 20 things may well be a Barrow's item. Yeah. Right. If you kill one Barrow's brother, one of those 20 things will be a Barrow's item. Yeah. Right. So, so for an Iron Man, for example, trying to complete, complete their set to the gut and skirt that I'm done, you, could, you theoretically only have to kill the Guthans, Pharaoh's mm, brother, yes. and that's not going to change your differences yeah, at all. But, and if that means you can go through it six times quicker, then it's yeah. probably a better way of doing it, isn't it? Interesting. If it you depends if you. Item. It depends if you only want to receive that Barrow's piece, or if you're open to receiving all of them, any and all of them, yeah. and uh, you specifically want these pieces, but you don't mind getting, you know, yeah. four of the others on your journey to there. Right. I mean, if you're yeah. if you're just after an also most expensive item, Gutton spear. Do we yeah. Right? The, uh, the yep. war spear. Yeah. Yeah. So if uh, just killing Guthans 
and then looting the chest is six times quicker than doing the entire lot. You might as well just rinse that one over and over again. Everyone's saying that... Uh, this is getting way too complicated now. Everyone's yeah. saying the Sun finally got the Guthans chain skirt, which had been going for for far too many chests. <laughs> Chat's going Listen, a bit mad. Well, well, we'll right. Sun for getting that in the end. <laughs> so this next myth is... Uh, Using the cannon at Barbarian Assault loses you points and loses your team points. I remember getting raged at during Barbarian Assault games because I'd be the guy <laughs> spamming the cannon to try and get through the wave quicker, especially at the Queen. And um, yeah. being royally raged at because I was, I was the only one touching the cannon. And everybody yep. else was like, no, no, stay away, stay away. Thinking, no, oh. this is, no, shush. No, you were that guy, were you? I was that guy, yeah. yeah. I was the guy on the cannon. Surprise. Ed Nightmare was like, no, please. Let me use no, the cannon. Oh, touch the cannon. Bless him. So what do you think the answer is? Uh, I know what the answer is. False. Ronan? It's got to be false. It's false? Yeah. Why has it got to be false? Because Dan because used the cannon. I saw it on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you're right. The answer is false. false. You could use um, the cannon. You do not get any less points if yep. you were to not use the cannon. You just spend more time trying to complete the wave, um, which is... Not really necessary, really. <laughs> right. So you know what's going to happen now is people are going to be in Barbarian Assault. One person can be in the cannon. One guy's going to come up. Stop using the cannon. You're wasting their points. He's going to be like, no, go watch the Mythbusters YouTube video. How do you type that in game? Bid bit. If I can speak. Meltdown. Yeah. <laughs> Happened like yesterday. All right. Um, if you get a good drop from a boss, you should hop worlds because that world's now less likely to drop something good again. Oh, yeah. So, again. Yeah. I get a hilt at Arma. I should hop worlds immediately? I'm saying I've, absolute rubbish. I've had that so many times again. We've been at Armadil and I've gone with a forum team and the forum, we've got a drop, usually even in the first few kills, and they're like, no, we need to hop world, now we need to find a new world, this world's dry. Or somebody is being A dry world. world. And they think, no. It could be, it could be uh, a luck thing, I suppose. You know, if people believe that, you know, sort of the superstition-y type of, right. you know, I don't know, professional footballers are always, uh, um, pray before they go on stage, or go on stage, go on the pitch, or you know, wear their left sock on their right foot, and you know, stuff like that. Maybe it's that sort of thing. I don't know. Yeah, yeah this is one thing that happens all too often as well in bosses. I've, I've still seen it in old school where some, I've been standing there watching people at the launch of, you know, even Godwards especially, and people have said, "No, we need to hot world now because these guys just got this drop here, so we need to go over here, and they can stay here and waste their time." No, nope, you're wasting your time hopping was because that is false. You guys are pretty quick with that one. Eighty-five percent—that's a, a good chunk. I, th I think that I think the giveaway was when uh, Chris mentioned it. And you went. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think by that point, I can't help. I can't help it with things like that because I've been I've been victims of uh, of that uh, plague for a long time. All right. So, unfortunately, a lot of a lot of people are going to know this one from experience. Um, so, okay, <laughs> you know what? That one. <laughs> Restart. You will still receive a fire cape if you've killed Jad but died before his death animation. I've watched quite a few videos on your YouTube channel where people go, "Yes!" Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, and then the reaction that follows yeah. um, might be the That's same. That's okay. We can spoil this one. I ruined it right before I asked it. Um, and unfortunately, so many of you guys have gone through this experience. Luckily, myself, not yet. Um, I've managed to get a fire cape either. I'm going for one of my pure soon. And you took me three attempts. Yep. Got so it, right? with Alfie, with Alfred, you, yeah. you can kill Jad, um, but you have to wait until he's completely disappeared and you are out of the cave before you can die. If you die while he's in that last tick of dying, you don't get it. Oh, Which just happens a lot because I know, I've, I, again, usually when people have sent videos into your channel, actually, uh, you hear the people scream, like, yes, and then they haven't killed the healers yet. And as Jad is dying, the healers have been lucky enough to hit that critical one on the player who's then died then. <laughs> and they're still screaming because they're so ecstatic. They finally beat Jad and they yeah. get outside and it's the, oh, well, we're unlucky, try again next time message. Yeah. And then usually you hear a desk fan hit the wall or a headset hit the floor. Yeah. And, and uh, <laughs> you realize they're probably not coming back. Yeah. Unfortunately, we've probably featured about 100 of those on the Prods channel, so <laughs> yeah, that sucks. All right. When training agility, there is no correlation between your hit points and your failure rate. Anyone care to explain that better That's than I can word it? The only reason I thought you had low hit points or you ensured your hit points were low is that the damage you took wasn't as high as it could be because I thought the damage was a percentage of, of what help hit points you got left. I think that's... I, off the Ooh, top, off the I have one head, Dan doesn't know. Off the top of my wow. head, I think maybe one or two courses do it as a percentage. The others take... A static number. Yeah, because I remember. But they do check beforehand that you have enough hit points in order before they can take that number. 
Um, because you take your you take your baskets of strawberries, don't you? And you only eat a small bit at a time. That's okay. So that so that you can um, just keep your hit points below ten, so then you'd only get hit for four. Tell you, considering I made the the rooftop achievements, uh, or I helped make the rooftop um, agility courses last year, I know the answer to it. Okay. But um, mm. as I thought for, I had you. As for taking damage, I think some courses might take a percentage, but I know other courses take a hard coded amount and uh, only check beforehand whether or not you can actually accept that amount, otherwise they take a lesser amount. Well, these guys actually are mostly saying it's true, which is correct. Um, what does impact your failure is only really getting hit by the darts that lower your agility level. Um, so it doesn't matter if you're... It, it, it would be, I think, smarter to have lower hit points because I, I believe you then hit mm. less. Um, yeah. But if you are maxed hit points or four hit points less, you have no different chance of passing through that obstacle. Yeah. If that made sense. Sweet. Okay, that was a complicated one. This is a good one. Dropping a gold ring into a volcano in the wilderness will spawn Golem from the Lord of the Rings. No comment. <laughs> no comment. I may have made up a couple of these, um, but uh, yeah, what do you think? No, no comment. I, I can't say anything because I may or may not be responsible for such a myth. Oh well, <laughs> oh, well that, that doesn't that say one. anything. <laughs> Which is why I'm laughing. Um, and there goes up the price of gold rings. <laughs> There's only the one gold ring. You say there. that. I might have just ruined it for everybody because I just saw false at the top actually. Uh, so yeah, I might have ruined it for everybody. Yeah, you got you got to learn to you know. Mm, 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 mm. Good chunk of people are saying. You say true. that though for the for the yeah, for the, not very good at this. For the brief <laughs> sorry for the brief second that false was on top and everyone was like no that's not true until I ruined it. Oh, they it changed your... their votes quick. <laughs> they did. Yeah. Everybody else jumped in there. So yeah, guys. Uh, fun fact: you can drop a, a gold ring into the volcano in the wilderness. It's the specific volcano with the the um, what is Bridge. it? The wilderness Bridge. volcano yeah. up in level forty five. 50 yep. wilderness, some, I can't remember the level. 40, 50, 50, yeah. Golem comes out level. and says, what, what did he say, my precious? My precious. Yeah, classic. Uh, you I, see, I looked at that and I laughed when I saw that question on there. And I looked at the answer and I went, what? And then I remembered when it happened. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah. During the <laughs> wilderness rejuvenation project, uh, obviously you have to smith the odium and malediction wards in the volcano. And I couldn't really f sit there and look at that and be a Lord of the Rings fan and think, oh, I, this is an opportunity for Easter egg here. I've got a funny yeah. feeling that we didn't run that piece of content past the legal team for obvious reasons. It doesn't say Gollum, it just says <laughs> Goblin. <laughs> <laughs> My precious isn't a copyrighted statement. <laughs> All right, uh, this is an interesting one. The Abyssal Whip actually comes from the spine of the Abyssal Demon that you killed. I'll be honest with you, I didn't know this one until uh, I remember the discussions around it. Yeah. And then I think Ash cropped in and said, actually... <laughs> there we go. Actually, <laughs> yeah, I didn't know this one myself until uh, until obviously just before the stream when um, I think Ash was uh, talking about it. Yeah. You actually have no idea from. which way Ash is going to go, whether I'm, it's a complete yes or no. I'm so. going to go with false. False. It doesn't make sense. Where surely, does the whip come surely, from then? I don't know, but surely you get one every time you kill an abyssal demon. Yeah, you get one. That's part of the well, not every every time you kill one, but let's say you yeah. you kill an abyssal demon, you get a whip. That whip theoretically came from its spine. Is the spine That's what you're holding? flexible enough? I mean, it seems like a, an abyssal demon is a sort of chrysanus type of creature, isn't it? So you expect yeah. it not to, not to have a spine because it's interesting it's set a, of results. It's a thing. Wow, a lot of people know their their RuneScape knowledge. It is true. There you go. Abyssal demon. There I you go. would have actually said false if I hadn't known uh, really? if Ash hadn't said so. Peter, because I. I don't think they would, I wouldn't have thought there would be any particular story behind it, and I would have thought we would have just made that one up. I think it's awesome. Mm -hmm. We need more stuff like that in the game, mm -hmm. definitely. Well, if we go the way of the state <coughs> Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So you're, I'm gonna need some help with this one. This is a difficult one to explain. It's possible to transform into a blue-faced gorilla by using a hidden monkey skull <laughs> and a gree gree together. A hidden secret monkey skull somewhere on RuneScape can transform you into a blue-faced gorilla. What's all blue faced? A gorilla is normally blue faced. No, no, they're not really. They're, 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 we have no, like a white even, slash black going on. Even in real life, a gorilla's blue faced. I want to know where this blue faced blue, 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 blue faced gorilla came from. Maybe I made it up. Maybe, maybe one of the guys sitting on the other side of the room could Google blue faced gorillas and. Uh, 
I hope his website isn't blocked. I just, I've just seen Maz start laughing. I think she's done that before and knows what the results are. <laughs> <laughs> don't you urban dictionary that one. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so let's see the, uh, the results. results here. James is doing it slowly yeah. for tension. Ooh, Ooh, wow. Ooh. That's interesting. 50-50 wow. dead. That is literally 50-50, yeah. yeah. That's true, isn't it? It's got to be. And of course, I can't make that up. That is true. It yeah. is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's possible in RS3, I believe. Maz, please correct me if I'm wrong. I think there was a means to actually obtain that skull. Zombie I'm, I'm getting nods, yes. Mm. Uh, so in RS3 there is, I think, implants, as actually Ronan pointed out, that can give you that skull. Yeah. In old school, that skull is behind a door uh, that you cannot open. There isn't an option on the door to unlock it. And there is obviously no key or any way to unlock it. Um, if you could somehow um, cheat your way in there, like no clip bug or anything like I that? I remember talking to, I can't remember if it was one of our infamous bug abusers who um, I remember think asking you know how many how many places did you get with that no clip and I think I did ask did you ever manage to get inside that room and they either said they didn't try or they said they couldn't do it because obviously they couldn't stack it enough so I think not even they managed to achieve getting hold of that skull so saying true is kind of cheating because well it is true but true, you can't do it we can go in there now and do it if we there is to. there yeah. is code that supports turning that skull and a Grigri into or that and the Grigri totem into a Grigri that will turn you into a, uh, a blue faced monkey. There is code that will do that if you could get hold of that skull. Yeah. All we need to do is allow you to get hold of that skull. Which is a little bit easier said than done. Yes. All right, next myth. Enchanted bolts will special more often depending on the player's range level. That's a good one. That's a, what do you think? I'm going false. False? Yeah. They won't special more depending on your range level? Yeah. So Some things special <laughs> depending on your level as well. So the combat things, are they affected by your level when they sp use special? Yes, definitely. But the bolts, so theoretically, mm. uh, level 30 using Emerald Bolts E is the same, has the same probability as a uh, level 99 Ranger. I mean, it makes sense in my mind that if you know your special attack, which is your effectively your normal melee weapons type yeah. of thing, is affected by your level, then surely it would make sense that your range is. Your range special attack, even if you're not pressing the special attack button, is affected by it. Um, I know the answer, I'm just being devil's advocate. <laughs> so, <laughs> so. And the answer? Um, uh, it's false. It's false. Mm. Not too many of you guys got that. 33% thought it was true. Um, yeah, it does not matter. So that's why when we had the Corporal Beast, and before there was a, a limit on the combat level to enter, there was, I believe, like a level 53 hopping in there with uh, Ruby Bolts, and he was getting the drops because he was specialing the same amount of times as level 99 Rangers in Void. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, does not matter. Indeed. Fun fact, I like that one. All right. The part in Monkey Madness where you had to carry the monkey skull from Arty Zoo to Karamja, um, if you gave it a banana, you were rewarded with a secret clue scroll. Interesting. Wow, that's a fascinating question, it, isn't it? It I, seems I like it'd be, this myth before until be I really tough to make up, that's for sure. I don't, I don't know if I'm, I'm creative enough for that. I'm going with false. False. I'm just seeing if Dan smiles, because every time it seems to be a giveaway. Yeah. I'm going with false. I just, I just smile. I just want to know what, what's your reasoning for that. Why, why do you think that? Because you smile. Because that a clue scroll. Let me, let me read it again, all right, real quick. So, Monkey Madness has a part in the quest where you have to carry a monkey from Artie Zoo, or Doyne Zoo, Artie Zoo. You have to carry this monkey from Artie Zoo to Karamja. If you gave this monkey, I guess used a banana on the monkey, it would in turn hand you a clue scroll. No, no that can't be true. That can't be true? No. It's true! It oh is my true. God. Yeah, it's true. Uh, you can also only ever get that clue scroll once, once ever. And it's monkey, just a medium clue scroll? Uh, sorry? Medium clue scroll? A medium clue scroll, and it will only give it to you once. Okay, there you that, go. that's got to be my favourite Easter egg in the game now. I tweeted this not <laughs> long back, one. actually, because I only found out about this earlier this year when I was dealing through Monkey Madness code to fix some numerous Monkey Madness bugs. So all these And falses. I came across uh, a tracking variable for um, the clue scroll. And I'm thinking, why is there a tracking variable a clue scroll on, the, on a monkey? It's only when you follow <laughs> it back that you realise, oh, God, if you give the monkey some bananas, the monkey will give you a clue scroll once ever. <laughs> this, is, this is true. So all these falses clearly do not follow you on Twitter. That, and I also, uh, I, I did tweet it out saying I've just found the most obscure Easter egg. And a lot of people did cotton onto it, actually. So th this is quite a well-known thing. Everyone is one. freaking out in their chat. This is a yes, good bit. Guys, I like guys, this it one. happens once. Okay. Yeah. It happens once. You're not suddenly going to say a diving in if you the, complete uh, the clue scroll stuff. I believe if you complete the quest, you can't go back and do it. You have to be doing this through Monkey Madness. Yes. I, did see, right. I did see someone in the, in the chat there saying, my life is done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Didn't next myth. 
Weapons items placed. Sorry, items placed on a table will despawn slower than items placed on the ground at the same time. Except for the poor guy who was uh, in Lumbridge um, basement the other day. You know what? We've yeah. got time. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. so, I don't um, know the story. So I was, I was, I was studied. I was, I can't remember why I was. I was invisible in Lumbridge basement. I think I was watching. Uh, probably looking at splashes, probably. Um, <laughs> it's more of a, 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 a hobby I have. Um, and uh, some guys like say we have a bucket they can give me. And uh, some guys, oh, there's a bucket just on the side over there. So I walked over invisible. Just this guy's about to pick up this bucket. I'm like, thank you. <laughs> uh, he's like, where the hell did this bucket go? What's going on? He's like, this bucket just disappeared in front of me. You mean? <laughs> so, okay, so the other guy goes, oh, there's a jug over there as well. And had I got to the jug first and got that, I'd have been brilliant, but he was quicker than I was. That's I'd, terrible. I'd say that the That's most terrible. fun I've ever had on a Jane account is just being invisible and messing with people. It's like <laughs> opening a door, or closing a door on them repeatedly. They just get so confused. Get, uh, drop a pet cat and uh, follow him around with a pet cat. Yeah, I've done that before. Or I've, plant mithril seeds. I've, I've done it at a boss yeah. with the boss pet just to get their hopes up a little oh. bit. All right, so, so this one's uh, split pretty much 50-50. I'm going to repeat the question real yeah. quick. So items placed on a table will despawn slower than items placed on the ground at the same time. Um, the answer to that is true. Items placed on the table, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, it was five minutes on the table, two and a half minutes on the ground, or... Something, imagine it some, something a, similar to that. Yeah, I, would I know it's longer. It was a simple, I simple fix or simple attempt to fix the uh, you know put your item on the table, get kicked from a house, and then lose the item. Sort of. Uh, it may have been. Yeah. Um, Regardless, it's true. Seem a particularly good answer, does it? A good solution for no. it. No. There's some on. numerous things done way back in the day that uh, we look back on now and think actually that wasn't really yeah. effective. <laughs> All right. Yeah, there we go. Next myth. Okay. Skeletal wyverns have the highest visage drop rate. Ronan? Do False. They? False. I'm going KBD. KBD. Why is that? Because have you gotten one from KBD? Wiki said so. <laughs> <laughs> you sure it's not um, if you speak to Aussie Act first? Doesn't that change That's it? a good thing. It's not good <laughs> there. I should have put those hand in hand, yeah. Um, all right, well, you know what? Let's go ahead. So um, actually, skeletal wyverns have the rarest chance of receiving a visage. King Black Dragon is, in fact, uh, the most common to drop it. Yeah, players know that as well. There they go. knew that one? Yeah. Pretty good, actually. 74.9% well false. Alrighty then. Yeah. <clears throat> Do you know the certain order in which care to educate us? Any idea? King Black Dragon, Steel Dragon, Iron Dragon, Black Dragon. Really? I believe. Steel is actually steel will drop a visage more no, frequently sorry. than iron. Actually, I, I, I missed uh, I missed uh, mithril dragon there. Okay, but what I'm asking is steel oh, dragon no, versus again, iron dragon. I forgot lava dragon as well, actually. Um, so you don't know then? No, I, I missed out two <laughs> dragons. It, it goes KBD, and then I believe it actually goes lava dragon. Um, lava dragon having the second most common drop for it, and then mithril mithril dragon. And then. I'll see PK later. Damn. And then steel then That's iron. The I believe it's steel then iron. Oh, I can't. Man. I don't recall if steel and iron have the same drop table. Otherwise, it's okay. the standard one in twelve thousand. All right. All right. Let's move on to the next question. Um, so um, t -t 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 on the wrong page. What happened there? Oh, there we are. Sorry about that. Certain monsters are weaker to different style spells. An example being an ice monster is weak to a fire spell. True it or false? Would seem, it would seem logical, wouldn't it? I mean, it, it makes sense. But is RuneScape happen? really that yeah. logical? That is the next question. I mean, you can fit 28 sharks in a bag that's invisible. Yeah, so the question is, was EOC ingrained into the game early <laughs> with, with ah, elemental damage? Oh, I see. Elemental damage. Or, uh, or is it false? Hmm. Yeah. What then cool. combats a water monster? We don't have, like, an electric... Earth, I suppose, wouldn't it? Earth. Yeah. Really? That's what I would assume. Not according to Pokemon logic, water is better than Earth. <laughs> yeah, we, RuneScape doesn't really ad ad yeah. adhere to its any standard uh, call of logic, to be fair. So I don't, I don't think we have to worry about that one. Hmm. I suppose water would work on Earth it turns it to mud, doesn't it? Right. And fire on ice. Yeah. Air on, what would, you put, what would air combat? There's Anything. Nervous. That's like Avatar right there. Air, air wins. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go for the triangle. Air, air it's not even a triangle. It's like a pentagon. Yeah. Okay, so I the answer swear, to that. There's four of them. Yeah. I was, I, do we have, no, you said ice. For some reason, I, I didn't consider ice to be water. The answer to that, regardless, let's, let's get on with this. Yeah, is, yeah, is yeah, true. Yeah, it is, is in fact true. true. Yeah. So um, you could you could argue that yeah. there was some EOC in our combat system way early into the game. I yeah. didn't know that. I really? thought that was false. 
Really? No, it is true. I'm a noob. Is it then true that <laughs> using something like using a fire against a fire would do less damage? It's not. It's true. In it's true that using certain spells on certain monsters is uh, more effective than using other spells. It's not strictly true to the elemental table. So just using using fire bolts on a um, a dragon? nice giant, for example, okay. doesn't strictly mean that you're going to do more damage with uh, with fire. It could actually be water. Okay. Um, if you look at steel dragons, for example, using fire on them is more effective. But why would using fire on steel? Okay, you might melt the steel, but. Um, you Makes could argue, it's, you know, it's it's not. I don't think it's strictly true, consistently to uh, the elemental triangle, but um, yeah, some spells are more effective on other mm. NPCs. I've I've definitely heard the myth that I, I've been at Blue Dragons killing a dragon. They say don't use fire spells on a dragon. They breathe fire. Fire doesn't work as well on them. What's up with that? That's just people being a bit sort of. <laughs> no, that doesn't that doesn't do anything. It's a great a program right. I watched once, which was a, uh, a a film based. It was, it was sort of set out like a documentary on dragons and where dragons came from, and you know, there were dragons still living up in mountains somewhere. It was very nice, and it told you the science behind how dragons could work. I mean, clearly they don't. I think I saw the same film actually. Yeah, it's quite. It's quite I good. I, I, it sounds familiar. Yeah. Okay. OS Illuminati. He said you're already in the OS, EOC. Don't quite know what that means, but there we go. The Illuminati has spoken. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we have a secret EOC project coming to old school. Maybe. Maybe that's one the of the four secrets we spoke about yesterday. <laughs> Maybe coming out yeah. April first. We know you guys will love it. <laughs> All right. Uh, just next. Not myth. really. Just looking at the. <laughs> just get the face palm and the laughs from the camera crew back there. <laughs> Let's go to the next myth here. Yeah. Um, Gauthan spear is the rarest item you can receive from Barrows. False. False. Oh. What why, is the rarest item false? then? False, because I have, I'm, I'm going based off the fact that everyone tends to make stuff up and just assume because it's the most <laughs> expensive and they've never had it. There are a lot of Barrows items. It's only the most expensive piece because the community decided it was the most expensive piece. I mean, we didn't specifically say, oh, this is the best, most expensive weapon. Mm -hmm. The community decided, hey, we want to pay more for this than anything else because it's better. So what is the rarest item then? Uh, the, the, the truth of the matter is, none of them are the rarest. They're all exactly the same rarity. Ah, there, there you go. go. A lot of those actually we'll thought that also, was false. Uh, uh, we'll be buying Guthan spears tomorrow. <laughs> once the prices have dropped. <laughs> no, I, I really false. don't get why it's so much more valuable than everything else then. Is it I guess it's the same drop. You drop? I, I guess it's, it just, it it's because it heals you. And it's that special weapon which can do a lot of damage and heal you. And obviously if you are somebody who enjoys AFKing or if you are somebody yeah. that uses it at bosses because you want to be able to stay longer, you know, it's the critical piece. You can Makes use sense. the rest of the kit, but you can't really do much about the weapon in most cases. It's like you can wear Darok, but unless you've got the axe, you're not going to hit really is it, high. Is it the spear you lose if you die? Or is it the helmet? Because you know, Darok's was the helm, which is why the helm was always most expensive. Yeah, that's, that's a good lose. question. I can't rem actually remember off the top of my head what the uh, player cost for I, I have an impact yeah. in it. We are so bad at RuneScape. Okay, <laughs> next question. Um, <clears throat> a little bit different than the question we asked earlier. Your cannon will deal more damage depending on your Warnock equipment's attack bonus. That is exactly what we asked earlier. Moving on to the next question. It says more damage. Huh? It says more damage instead of more accurate. Oh, you know what? Yeah, that is slightly different. Okay, sure, why not? Uh, so let me repeat that. I think your we, cannon uh, will deal more damage depending on your worn equipment's attack yeah. bonus. I think we almost answered this one earlier as well, if I remember rightly. I thought it was pretty common knowledge. It, it, there, there are two ways of going about it. You could either hit a higher number depending on your equipment, or you could hit less zeros. So attack bonus versus, I guess, a strength. Range bonus. I'm looking I'm to vote it again. I'm confused. So <laughs> I'm just going to say I reckon that it's true. I think I didn't anticipate that we'd kind of go in depth with the previous question, and we kind of <laughs> dipped into this one. So yeah. it really doesn't make more sense. It's true. Okay. Yeah. Last question. This is the big one. This is my favorite. Well, Spinach the rolls. You couldn't decide. I could though. They're only at 50 50 there. We just answered this, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Maybe they don't believe us. So yeah, it was like forty-six percent to fifty-four percent. So they weren't yeah, sure. It is true. <laughs> it is true. true. There you go. Again, like we stated earlier, um, if you were to wear a full set of dehyde, your cannon will do more damage than wearing a full set of rune. All right. Last question. Spinach rolls were originally a rare item obtained from a secret chest in the wilderness. <gasps> wow, a secret chest. I don't know the answer to this one. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I'm I mean, I, I mean, I don't. 
I know that people used to say they were rare to try and scam you. So was so was that so was a burnt lobster. That was a rare item at one point, apparently. It wasn't a burnt lobster, it was a black lobster. True. Black lobster, burnt lobster. Like I don't 100, know what to believe anymore. 100 HP or something. <laughs> you don't know what to believe anymore. Wow. Look I'm surprised trues. by the results. I really am. This yeah. was a good ender. I'm glad I, I picked this one. Um, so yeah, it's false. It is false. I would have yeah. assumed it, it is false. false. Yeah. But, but you've got a community swayed your decision to be wrong, Ronan. You're supposed to be the community manager here. I believe there was a chest you could get it from in the wilderness, yeah, but think, it I wasn't a rare was, item. Yeah, no, it wasn't rare, certainly. Like, party hat speaking, No, you got them from random events as well, yeah. and if you occasionally opened small chests, I believe from rock crabs or caskets, you might have actually got them out there as well. Yep. So they certainly weren't unique to it, any particular chest in the wilderness. There were a couple others, weren't there? Aside from just the... Uh, there might have been a few others. Wall. They certainly weren't unique to one particular location in the wilderness. Mm. There you go, guys. There we go. So, um, I guess we'll be taking the highlights from this Mythbuster stream. Um, I was really surprised how many of you guys we, we surprised here. And we'll be throwing up on YouTube, so that'll be up, bleh, so that'll be up tomorrow, if I can speak. Um, actually, I believe we have one last myth. I do have one from the chat. James managed to find one. Okay. I thought it was quite cool. Um, I've just created it, and I'll send it into the chat, and I'll put it, send it your way, so you can read it. So, yeah, James is making, I don't know if you heard that, but James is making... Uh, uh, nice little a quote thing. thing. For That's interesting. One. I know this. <laughs> um, <laughs> Jerry, go ahead. Let's, let's read it out. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Does using the defensive attack style increase your defense? You see, now, EG for box. That is a really yeah. good myth. Let, I always believed it did. I, I want to answer this before, Dan, because I made a guide on this back in the day. You, you, you jump in. To Go do a mage box, and I figured that if you manual cast when you're on defensive, it will give you plus three defense levels invisibly, which will help you. Is that well, true or false? I have looked into this briefly quite a while back, so I'm trying to remember what the results were. I believe it is actually true. Really? I believe switching your defense styles does make a difference. Again, a trivial difference, but it does make a difference. And in, well, in, I guess in the world of staking, where hitting one more than your opponent, that is actually quite significant. Mm. But I believe it is actually true. We'll check that on Monday, shall we? Interesting. Yeah, if we'll if, if I can remember rightly, because I have looked into this before, when Ash and I were doing the Jewel Arena, actually, for RS3, before Old School came out, we wanted to make sure that uh, we didn't break anything existing. And I know we did dive into this one briefly, because we wanted to make sure that this, or the system of being able to switch during attacks wasn't interrupted by anything Ash and I had done to the Jewel Arena. And I believe we wanted to make sure that this would have still worked. So, which leads me to believe this is actually true. You can kick, I believe, one number higher than, than a punch, right? But uh, punching is obviously more accurate. Punching is more accurate, kicking is stronger but less accurate, and defense uh, is... Uh, gives you, I think, believe about, obviously, that higher chance of... Uh, taking less damage okay. in return. That's what I was curious about. Mm. That was the one that I was I think really... that's true. Wow. That's a good question. Yes. Call me a five more James. because I couldn't remember that one. <laughs> that's a good question. Yes. <laughs> Alrighty then. I, um, I, like I said, I'm really interested in seeing what the uh, price of the Ring of Wealth will be on after this stream. <laughs> yeah. uh, I apologise to Keepers and probably Misha from RS3 because I know um, she does a lot of clue scrolls, and uh, if she wasn't using a uh, if she's not using a ring of wealth throughout uh, the entire time she'd be doing it, she'd be missing out. There might be a few other people as well. I think well, Sinmar's still pretty mm -hmm. hot on clues. Yeah, it's not throughout the entire clue. It's just when you're opening the casket. Just when right? you're opening the casket. Okay. I mean, again, yeah. the the amount is trivial. It's almost I, I still stand by it that ring of wealth is completely useless, and um, it's not really worth going for. But uh, if you are one of those people that believe that every little bit matters and it might make a huge difference to you one day, then yeah, go for it. We're in Ring of Wealth when you open a casket. And also dance three times and teleport to Lumbridge. <laughs> every single spinning. time. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. <coughs> there you have it. I don't believe we have any more myths to bust today. I think we're done. We might be doing a future one in the, in yeah. the future. If we can find more myths. <laughs> if we can find more. Um, so yeah. Thanks for oh, watching. Player luck. We've got to answer the player luck thing. And we said at the beginning that we'd answer oh, yeah. right at the end of the stream the whole sort of theory behind luck as a you player. You say that. Somebody okay. else just said, can someone please explain how luck works? Okay. okay. So, so one of the things that a lot of people talk about is uh, a variable we have set on each account, which is called uh, luck. And that sort of, you know, people believe that denotes how lucky uh, you will be and the chance of you getting a better drop. Uh, we've said several times that we can activate this on specific accounts. 
every time we've said that, we've been lying because it doesn't exist. Sorry. Wow. <laughs> there is no such thing. Coming as, out. There is no official means or anything scripted in our game which determines how lucky you are. Right. If you get back to back to back to back to back drops, mm -hmm. you have simply been, I guess, the, uh, the winner in um, a very, very lucky uh, role, effectively. It isn't, um, there isn't anything there that is said you should receive that because you are more lucky than the next person. You, are, you have simply just beaten the odds. Could buy a lottery ticket. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. I mean, you have, in, yeah. in some respects, especially in old school, with some of the things we've done recently, you have more chance of winning the lottery than you do getting some of the jobs we've got in game. Uh, I would blame John for that because John is very, very um, creative with the yeah. way he decides he, to do his uh, drop tables. But Just wait for the Jad pet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, it is all completely random number generation. Yeah. RNG, as a lot of people call it, is a big factor in this. There is no set luck. You are simply... Um, fighting the dice, basically. Yeah. There you go. There okay. We are. <laughs> are we good to do the yeah. outro now? I think we'll do the outro now. All yeah. right. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. You can catch all of this on the YouTube channel tomorrow. Aside from that, we'll see you next Thursday. Yeah. Bye bye. See you.